following is an unpaid program brought to you by the Greater Hamilton Civic Theater. Warning, this program contains entertaining content. From the people who brought you Bread Gone Wild comes this spring's most culinary-filled musical, The Baker's Wife. Do you like to be entertained? The New England Journal of Medicine says nothing about our show. But here to fill you in is the star of our show and your host, Denny Thomas. I'm Denny Thomas, and I'm not a baker in real life, but I play one in the Greater Hamilton Civic Theater production of The Baker's Wife, April 29th through May 2nd at Parish Auditorium. Do you like musicals? Absolutely! Do you like Cats? Do you like Cats the Musical? Nice kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. <laughs> <laughs> well, this play is nothing like that. The Baker's Wife is written by two Americans, not some British guy. Oh! Do you like fiddles? Yes! Do you like roofs? Yes! Do you like Kristen Chenoweth? Yes! The Baker's Wife was written by Joseph Stein, who wrote Fiddler on the Roof, and Stephen Schwartz, the musical genius behind Godspell and Wicked. <laughs> now, here's my co-star of The Baker's Wife, Miss Andrea Shirley. Andrea Shirley! <laughs> so, Andrea, I bet you can't wait for the show to open. <laughs> That's right, Benny. That's Denny. <laughs> sure, hon. The Baker's Wife tells the story of a middle-aged yet unbelievably handsome man <laughs> and his younger wife. Much younger. Who moved to a small French village in the 1930s to take over the bakery. Of course, no musical would be complete without an assortment of characters to round out the cast and make the show worth seeing. <laughs> After all, who would want to see just two people sing and dance and talk to each other? You really need a priest and a, and a mayor and a town drunk and a cafe and a cafe owner who really who really is the heart of the Hey, who wrote this? But the baker's wife is not all fun and games. You got to ask. Why would a beautiful young woman with the voice of an angel marry someone old enough to be her brother? Grandfather. And what might she do when faced with the day after day life with someone who's super nice, but not exactly Clark Gable? After all, this is 1935. If this was on Broadway, you might expect to pay over $200. But wait, you're not gonna spend $200. <laughs> no, not $200, not 170. Oh. Or 150. Oh. No, not $75, not even. Thirty-three fifty. Oh, no, my friends, for a mere fifteen dollars. That's one five. Fifteen dollars, you get all this entertainment <laughs> and more. There's more. Can you say l'amour? L'amour. I didn't think so. L'amour is love. <laughs> yes, yeah, spring is in the air and the birds are singing. You call that crap. The Baker's Wife. It's about bread, about friendship, about love. It's about $50. <laughs> the Baker's Wife, April 29th through May 2nd at Parish Auditorium. Call 513-737-PLAY or order your tickets online at www.ghctplay.com. <laughs>